How's everybody doing today? <laughs> I got time. I got a couple jokes. Bring on. Unfortunately, um, they all escape me. It's a sad joke for you. You know what you're doing, do you? <laughs> Not at all. Life can uh, only be understood backwards, but it has to be looked forward. <laughs> She's gonna show up. This is the worst person I've ever had. <laughs> I'm not that scary, honestly. <laughs> okay, we're nearly ready to start, ladies and gentlemen. Just a couple of things before we do. First of all, as the person sitting behind the door, when the door opens in a minute and they start to come in, would you hold the door right open yeah. until the bride and her dad are in and then just let it close gently? That would be really helpful. Thank you very much indeed. Um, oh, and um, two piece, a couple of pieces of information before we begin the ceremony today. First of all, I'm very happy for you to take photographs during the ceremony, ladies and gentlemen, but please would you do so from your seats, otherwise it's very distracting both for me and for the bride and groom for if people are moving around the room. Um, and uh, please, uh, apart from an official photographer who I'm happy to use flash if you need to, uh, would you make sure you don't use a flash in the room? There is generally enough light in here. Um, because again, that's very distracting uh, when we're trying to remember words to say and so on. Secondly, now is the time to make sure that your mobile phone is on silent or turned off completely. When the ceremony has finished, we, the bride and groom will come and sit to sign the register. And that's the point where you're not allowed to take any photographs whatsoever. We'll set up a dummy register for them to sign afterwards. And then... Um, and then uh, after the ceremony is completed, the bride and groom will lead you out through the French doors here to the garden to take photos. Uh, it's fine to throw confetti if anybody's brought into the petals, but please make sure we close the doors first. Um, and uh, I have to remind you that the whole of the grounds is a non-smoking area because it's a council building, all right? Okay, are you all about ready? Yeah, well, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please be upstanding for the arrival of the bridal party? which has been duly sanctioned according to law for celebrating marriages. Stephen and Eleanor have both come here in affection and love to honour each other and to declare before us all that they will continue to share their lives and their responsibilities. We are here to witness not only a legal act but also a much deeper declaration of commitment and we sincerely hope that you will all enjoy a really happy and memorable day. My name's Karen Kilshaw, and I will be conducting the ceremony. I would also like to introduce Judith Marriott, our registrar today, taking care of the very important legal side of the proceedings. You are all here to witness 
the marriage of Stephen Gordon Brinkman and Eleanor Creasy. However, if any person here present knows of any lawful impediment why they should not be joined in matrimony, they should declare it now. <laughs> Stephen Ellie, before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage according to the law of this country is the union of one man and one woman voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. But in addition, marriage is intended to provide love and comfort, help and friendship, which each ought to have for the other, both in times of joy and in times of sadness. A strong marriage is built on a deep and lasting commitment and is the promise of two people that they will live their lives together, whatever the future may bring. Stephen and Eleanor, you are now required in the presence of your witnesses here assembled to make a solemn declaration that you know of no legal reason why you should not become husband and wife. You're going to go first, please, Stephen. So would you turn and face me? Yeah. Thank you. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I, <laughs> that I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Stephen Gordon Brinkman. Why I, Stephen Gordon Brinkman. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Eleanor Creasy. To Eleanor Creasy. Thank you. I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Eleanor Creasy. Why I, Eleanor Creasy. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Stephen Gordon Brinkman. To Stephen Gordon Brinkman. The institution of marriage must be entered into freely, voluntarily, and with the full and unreserved consent of you both. So I hope that the answer to my next question is, I do. Do you, Stephen, take Eleanor to be your wife, and do you promise to be loyal and faithful to her? I do. Do you, Eleanor, take Stephen to be your husband, and do you promise to be loyal and faithful to him? I do. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the solemn moment has come for Stephen and Eleanor to contract their marriage before you as their witnesses. So could I ask our two principal witnesses to stand, please, for this part? Okay, this is your contract with each other. So once again, I need you to repeat the words after me, but I want you to say them to each other this time, okay? You're going first, Stephen. I call upon I call upon these persons here present these persons here present <laughs> to witness that I Stephen to witness that I Stephen do take thee Eleanor do take thee Eleanor to be my lawful wedded wife to be my lawful wedded wife I promise to love and care for you I promise to love and care for you to comfort and protect you to comfort and protect you to listen and confide in you. To listen and confide in you. To be honest and faithful to you. To be honest and faithful to you. To respect your thoughts and dreams. To respect your thoughts and dreams. And to trust and believe in you. To trust and believe in you. Above all others. Above all others. <laughs> I call upon I call upon these persons here present these persons here present to witness that I Eleanor to witness that I Eleanor do take thee Stephen do take thee Stephen 
to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I promise to love and care for you. I promise to love and care for you. To comfort and protect you. To comfort and protect you. To listen and confide in you. To listen and confide in you. To be honest and faithful to you. To be honest and faithful to you. To respect your thoughts and dreams. To respect your thoughts and dreams. <laughs> and, and to trust and believe in you. And to trust and believe in you. Above all others. Above all others. Thank you, witnesses. Do sit down. The ancient and traditional way of sealing a marriage contract is by the giving and receiving of rings. The wedding ring is an unbroken circle symbolising unending love and is an outward sign of the lifelong promise that Steve and Ellie have made to each other today. So could we have the first ring, please, Aaron? Which one? Right. So Steve, take it to put on Ellie's finger. That's your one. Yeah. Take the wrong one out, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, we have this discussion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to just pop your image on? Yeah. So that one on first. Yeah. That's okay. Just hold it at the tip of her ring finger, please. Yeah. Right. 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 Hang on. Oh, yeah. Can you say some words to that first? Ellie, I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage, as a symbol of our marriage. and as a sign of my love and loyalty. As a sign of my love and loyalty. Yeah, we'll yes, of course. <laughs> okay. Completes the work. Oh. Very babies. <laughs> and the other ring, please. Take some time. Hold to the tip of his ring, please. Steve, I give you this ring. Steve, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as a sign of my love and loyalty. And as a sign of my love and loyalty. Put up his ring there, please. That's <laughs> Okay, now, Ellie, if you'd like to sit down for a moment. Okay. Yeah. Steve has a reading for us. Okay. Oh, there's no big secret anymore. <laughs> 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 Memorize most of this. It's actually surprising because I wanted to read something else. And Ellie was like, you know that sonnet by that great poet that you know? And I had no idea Ellie liked poetry, so this is the one we go with. All right. That's more of a bow, I think. But um, I do not love you as a salt rose or a topaz or the arrow of carnations that fire shoots forth. I love you as certain dark things are to be loved, in secret, in the space between the shadow and the soul. I love you as the plant that never blooms, but carries in itself the hope and light of hidden flowers. Thanks to your love, a certain solid fragrance lives in my body. I love you without knowing how, or when, or from where. I love you straightforwardly, without complexities or pride. So I love you because I know no other way than this. Where I does not exist nor you, so close that your hand on my chest is my hand, so close that my eyes close as you fall asleep. Thank you. Steve and Ellie, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law and you've made a solemn and binding contract with each other in my presence, in the presence of your witnesses, your families and your friends. This day is the start of your new life together. We all hope that you will have many happy years and that you grow in understanding, love and respect for each other. May the two of you always be the answer to each other's questions, the gift for each other's needs, and the reason for each other's happiness. It's now my pleasure and my privilege to declare you husband and wife. Congratulations.
going to do is signing the register. So this is the part where you may not take any photographs or any videoing at all. Thank you. So if you two would like to come. <laughs> On the other side, Ellen. If you sit down with me, table, table. Perfect. So now, if you put your right arm around her shoulders. Okay. It's a dummy pen, no ink in it, so it won't make marks on um, beautiful dresses. <laughs> All right. And if you put that hand on the table there, and you put your hand you can do rings if you want to. Can I see it as well? All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, please move around and take as many photos as you'd like. I'm free to defend, ladies. I'm swords, Steve. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please be upstanding to greet Mr. and Mrs. Brinkman. Steve, pick up that bit, you'll step on. 